Hearing as the controversial sex education bill is back before state lawmakers, this plan could change how sex ed is taught in schools. Our Michael Obeda live now at the state capitol. Michael, this hearing's been going on for a while now. Is it still going on? Yeah, Dominic, it's probably going to go on for a while. That, that bill that would change the way sex ed is taught in Colorado classrooms was heard in a Senate committee Thursday. That bill garnered a lot of attention when it passed the House, and now it's on its way to the floor of the Senate. I know this is a tough topic. As it stands right now, the bill will get rid of a waiver, letting public charter schools pick out their sex ed criteria. It funds a grant program for schools that lack resources to teach human sexuality. It expands on LGBTQ relationships and would ban the abstinence only approach. Schools will have to accept a more comprehensive curriculum or teach nothing at all. Our children are our most valuable resource. Mm -hmm. And I think we need them to have all the tools necessary to lead a productive life. Hundreds signed up to testify for. This bill supports understanding for young children, boundaries and bodies. And against the bill. Colorado citizens don't want the government telling them how to educate their children on sexual education. Colorado citizens want to be free to make decisions that are best for themselves and their families. Amendments were proposed to clarify that parents or schools can opt out, to protect students' speech and beliefs, that sex acts will not be taught, and that sex ed won't be taught to kids younger than third grade. If you are raising your children with your morals and your values, you have nothing to fear. One of the bill's sponsors, Senator Don Corum, says the bill isn't about pushing any particular agenda, but it's about protecting children. You know, I think it's something that uh, our children needs to be educated about. We also need to be more tolerant of others who think different than we do. Now, if that bill passes out of this Senate committee, it then has to pass a vote in the Senate General Assembly. Then it has to go back to the House for approval if those amendments are added. In Denver, Michael Aveta covering Colorado first. All right, appreciate it, Michael. And also at the